Come on, say. Your name is Alpha. Raise your voice and sing to him. Say. Omega. You are ageless. Ageless. Lift up your hands to him and worship him. Glorious, glorious God, ah, be bowed before your throne. Lift up your hands to heaven. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. I'll sing it again. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Sing. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Come and raise your voice. Sing. You are Jehovah. Is there no one like you? You are the living God. Oh. Is there no one? You are the living God. Oh. Is there no one like you? You are the living God. Is there no one like you? See how you change my life. See how you bless my life. You are the living God. Is there no one like you? The living God, oh, is it a one? Come on, just open your mouth and begin to worship the name of the Lord in this place. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, release yourself in worship. Come on, come on. Hey, Shapa. Samadada da bos, sekadada da sepada da 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 bossa. Kalekete preketo sepele da 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 bossa. Sekane gada da da bo sekane da da bo sa likata kaya gada da da bo sa likato prekete kaya gada bo sa ba sa pa ya gada prekete da da bo sa ba Come on, don't stop, don't stop. You have the living God. Oh. Is there no one like you? Come and sing with me, say. You are the living God. 
do From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are caught up by yourself. Come on, sing with me and everybody raise your voice. You are from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are, you are God all by yourself. Say you are God. You are God. From beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I feel the glory of God. You are God all by yourself. You've got things and scissors in your hands. Come on, sing with me, everybody. Say! You call for light out, out of darkness. Way. You don't need a man of God. You don't need a man to be the God you are. You have chosen. You, you have, have chosen. Yes, Lord. Come on, raise your voice. Say, you are God. You are God. God. God over God The Spirit of the Lord is moving in the house. Come on, come on, come on. Just release yourself. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hey, Shabala. Come on, come on, come on. Release yourself this morning. Release yourself this morning. Release yourself. <laughs> You'll be good. You'll not be mad. Yes, Lord. You be God, you know be man, oh. Alpha Omega, you be God. You be God, oh. You be God, you know be man, oh. Oh, Lord, so the heart Okay, bye. Shaba. Hey. Yes, Lord. Akbar. Hey, Shaba. No, 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 no. Likata brega de de bosa de 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 bosa. Oloru. So the hour. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, ni mo fi akbar. The Holy Spirit just walked in the room. The Holy Spirit just walked in the room. For this is I fight my battles. <laughs> this is I fight my battles. This is I fight my battles. <laughs> this is I fight my. Come on, join me in sex. This is I fight my battles. Oh, this is our fight. 
I'm gonna say, this is us. You say, raise the voice, this is us. Yes, yes, release yourself, release yourself. Come and raise your voice. No, 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 that is who you are. Come on, everybody, raise your voice and sing. Make a miracle worker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. That is who you are. Raise your voice and sing to him. Everybody, raise your voice and sing. We make a miracle worker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. Changing every life, I worship you. I worship you. You are you, transforming every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Do miracles. I worship you. I worship you. Come and raise your voice and say, say, we make a miracle walker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. That is who you are. Everybody raise your voice in the room. in my spirit numbers 23 19 god is not a man that should lie or the son of man that should repent has he said anything to you and not to it that's what i hear in my spirit so just begin to ask god for your christmas gift begin to ask god for your christmas gift Yes, yes, yes. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your name is Yahweh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You sing it to God. Come on. Come on. Oh, Shabbat, call it a little Shabbat. Yes, Lord. Come on, come on, sing it to the Lord. Your name is. Yes, Lord. Your name is. Yes, Lord. The miracle. Your name is. Sing. Your name is Healer. Your name is Healer. You're the miracle. Your name is Healer. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let God hear your voice. I've got a few seconds left. Let God hear your voice. My life will never remain the same. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself to you. 
Sing it one more time to God. Sing it. My, my life, life is not my own. Sing it to the Lord. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself to you. Just begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Just lift up his holy name and saw the name of the Most High King. He is the half the Omega, the beginning and the ending. There is no one like him, none can be compared unto him. Oh, our God is mightier than the mightiest. He is the creator of heaven and earth. Just magnify his name, just exalt his holy name. Magnify his holy name, exalt his holy name. Oh, magnify his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Just lift up his holy name. Just lift up his holy name. Just lift up the holy name. Oh, worship you. Malaka baba baka shaba raka baba baba baka shaba. Oh, laka baba baba baka samba raka baba baka shaba raka. Oh, lika ka baba baba baka shemburu ka baba baba baba. Oh, baba ka simburu ko shaba raka baba baba baba. Oh, baba baka simburu ko shaba baba baba. Ma ka simburu ko baba baba baba. Oh, laka baba baba baka simburu ko shaba. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to encourage somebody this morning here. Yeah. I will share something with you quite briefly. My family and one other family, we were agreeing concerning the thing that the Lord Almighty spoke expressly concerning this other family. And we were trusting the Lord for this thing that he spoke because he spoke to them and he spoke to us. And we were trusting him in the last three months for that particular thing. And it is a very time-limited thing. If that thing had not happened by this last Friday, then we were beginning to wonder if God did speak. But we know the God that we serve. He spoke. God spoke. So we were just trusting him and asking him, God, we know you have spoken, but we know we have to do our own part like we learned just now. He says, what has the widow, what has she got in her, what does she have in the house? God began to ask us a lot of questions concerning this thing, and this was going to expire this last Friday. We were looking in different directions. We were praying and we were trusting God. This is the month of December. You have been trusting God for something since January. And it didn't happen. And you are still trusting him. And he said, God, you spoke. God, you spoke. Because I am there to tell you that our God is never late. And just on Thursday, on Thursday, I think... Thursday or Wednesday, was it? Thursday. Somebody out of nowhere, somebody out of nowhere began to turn the wheel. Hallelujah. Began to turn the wheel. Hallelujah. Began to turn the wheel. And just said, this was something that was going to cost a lot of money. And this person said, it is not about money. That everything is not about money. That I am going to do it for you free. I don't want to go into details, but I know this God. I know this God. This God is wonderful. He is never late. I don't know what you are trusting him for since this January. If God has spoken. I am standing before you as a living witness that our God will do it. I say, my God will do it. I say, the Lord that we serve will do it. Elisha said in his book of 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1, say, then the word of God came to prophet Elisha, and he said, that was after the captivity of Samaria, and he said, tomorrow. Tomorrow a measure of fine flour will sell for a shekel. And he said, two measures of barley will sell for a shekel. <laughs> he is going to turn around. He is going to turn it around for you. 
I just want you to say what you want to happen tomorrow. Your tomorrow movie might be in the next 10 years, but my tomorrow is tomorrow. Just open your mouth and tell God, because you have spoken, my tomorrow will be good. Tell God, because you have spoken, that word that you have spoken would come to pass in my life in the name of Jesus. Just open your mouth and begin to tell him, God. God, it is the 12th month of the year. God, it is December. God, it is December because we have come into your presence, Lord. Lord, we thank you because you will do it. Lord, we thank you because you will do it. Lord, we thank you because it is done. Lord, we thank you because it is done. Oh, Lord, we thank you because it is done. Lord, we thank you because it is done. Oh, we worship you, Father. Oh, 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 we thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Perhaps you are like that Lord that in verse 2 of that second Kings chapter 7, the first two, said the Lord on whose hand the king will lean, said even if God were to open the windows of heaven, he said that thing that Elijah said cannot come to pass. We all know what happened to him, but the word of God came to pass. Ask God to help your home believe. Ask God to help your home believe. Ask God. Open your mouth and say, God, increase my faith, oh God. Increase my faith to hold on to you, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, increase my faith, oh God Almighty, to hold on to you concerning that thing that you have said. In the name of Jesus, Father, increase my faith, oh God. Father, I hold on to you because you are God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you because your word is yea and amen. Father, we thank you. Father, I promise to come and testify in front of you concerning this thing that you've done at that last minute and that last hour to encourage somebody, Lord. Because I know tomorrow you will do even greater and mighty things, oh God. For whosoever is trusting you for one thing or the other in this assembly, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. We return all the honor back to you. We thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we are prayed. Amen.
Put our hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Clap your hand. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. What a wonderful moment in the presence of the Lord. Glory, 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 glory to his holy name. This is our month of rejoicing. And to the glory of his name, we rejoice all through in the mighty name of Jesus. And we rejoice into year 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never have any sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord is your portion in Jesus' name. And things of rejoicing will happen and will continue to overflow in your life and in your family in Jesus' name. God bless you, choir. Bless you, my sister. Bless you, my brother. God bless you mightily. 
You are blessed in Jesus' name. It's like it should continue. I don't want to leave that place. You know, I don't know. Time is a constraint, isn't it? Glory be to God. Please have your seat. Now it's time for us to listen to the word of God. But before that, I just want to emphasize quickly on the Goa fishing. On the 28th of December, the Saturday, we are going a fishing. So let us all gather here by 10 a.m. in the morning, and then we we'll go for evangelism. And then after that, we will come back here and have a picnic together, you know, to celebrate the end of year together as a family. And I want all of you here. And the Lord will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. The details will be sent to us as we get them. But have that in mind. I'm prepared to be here. And I know that God will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. And as we are getting to the end of the year, we know that the crossover service is going to be on the 31st of December from 10 p.m. So let us begin to pray along. And the Lord will prepare us and will minister to us mightily in Jesus' name. Now it's time to hear the word of God. And I have the privilege to invite to the pulpit our pastor. I call him, our daddy will babysit us. And uh, those of us who are here at that time, we know that one. Because he comes from Verbon several times you know, to organize programs, to advise us, you know, and to support us. And we thank God we have him in our presence this morning to minister to us. He's the pastor in charge of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Strong to our Assembly, Melbourne. And that's the person of Pastor Punsho Aki Ojelabi. God bless you, sir. Amen. Let's rise up on our feet and do a wonderful class for our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. Amen. Brethren, uh, before, before I start the message, I almost changed the message while we were praying, while we were praying this, um, this morning, but... Um, I will continue with the, the message. But before that time, we're going to sing this song, just one stanza, in Christ alone. You know, that's not what I prepare. But it's going to tie into what we are going to do today because whatever we say, whatever we do is about Jesus. He's the one that turned the captivity around. He's the one that gives joy. So we're going to sing because I have a limited time, you know, and we're going to sing just one stanza. things you might have been going through, God is in the house to turn situation around. 
There is no amount of abracadabra. There is no amount of jumping around. On Christ, you are secure. They just start singing that uh, chorus and then we sit down. What height of love, what depth of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter, my holy Lord, he in the Christ of Christ. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you. We have you as our Father. In you, we live. In you, we move. In you, we have our being. In you, our testimony is sure. In you, we have the hope of eternal life. Father, speak your word to your people. Give power to your word. Let your word do us good. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's put our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. Choir. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I, 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 will, I, will, I will stick with time, you know, because when you are giving time, you have to, you know, to go along with the time, even though there is more, more we want to give. But I pray that that which God wants you to hear, that is what you will hear. Not the one that I've prepared, but the one that God has prepared for you. That is what you will hear in Jesus' name. Once again, I want to thank God for... This privilege, you know, it's a privilege to be here and then uh, to see uh, you people doing well. And then when you honor the source, God will honor you. I want to let you know that because wherever you call the head, you cannot make it a tail. If you like, you work with your head and you put it as, you, you, you are working with your head. When it begins to pain you, what happened? You will turn back to the, you know, but I want to pray that my heart is with you people. And you are going to succeed in Jesus' name. And then, thank God for the, uh, for the invitation. And when the pastor told me, I was just asking him, what do you want me, do you have anything particular do you want me to speak about? And I was just saying, this month is a month of rejoicing. I said, that's fantastic. And I've been praying. I don't, I don't want to see me, I don't want to see me as, a, as an invited guest. I want to see me as a friend that has come to encourage you. Because there is somebody here that God wants to speak to. And I believe that word will be for you in Jesus' name. Psalm 126, verse 1. Let's see, Psalm 126. Psalm 126, we read from verse 1 to the end. If you wouldn't mind, if you want to honor God, can we please rise up and we just read it in unison. Psalm 126, from verse 1 to, uh, I think from 1 to 6 or whatever. Can we read together? When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nation, the Lord has done great in me. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Can you please just sit down majestically in the presence of your God and give a clap offering to the Lord Jesus Christ. And also, if you look at the book of 2 Kings, you know, it's good to, write, to read that Bible. 2 Kings chapter 4, 17 to 20. 2 Kings chapter 4, 17 to 20. You know, I will read it here. I said, but the woman conceived. And bore a son when the appointed time had come, of which Elisha had told her. And the child grew. Now it happened one day that he went out of his father to the reapers. And he said to, to the father, my head, my head. So he said to servant, carry him to his mother. When he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon. And then he died. 
Father, we just want to thank you for your word. Your word is light. We pray that we give power to your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you read the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, I'm just bringing about three scriptures together, and there's something that God wants us to learn from there. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, I will read from 5, 4 to 7. Say, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, we guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. As I was uh, praying the night, finally I got the title of the message this morning around 4 a.m. Turning your captivity into celebration. That's the word for someone today. Turning your captivity to celebration. So when we look at the account of the scripture that we read, you know, and God is always in the habit of turning situation around for good for people. And then thank God for the prayer that we pray that if you look at your life throughout the beginning of this year, there might be some things that have not been ticked on your to-do list. There might be some issues, challenges in your career. There might be some issues concerning your health. There might be you know, released, you may have received some news that are not palatable. But I want, to tell, to, I want to tell you today that God is going to turn that situation to celebration. The place where you have been defeated before, you are going to be celebrated. The place where you have been rejected before, they are going to call you for that job. The place where men are saying casting down. The Bible says when men are cast down, what we say? There's a lifting up of someone here. If that is your Lord, say a big amen to that. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 27. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 27. Say, I will overturn. I will overturn. It shall be no more. And it come to whose right it is. And I will give it to them. And if you look at Psalm 126 verse 1. Say, when the Lord turn the captivity of Zion. We walk like them that were dreaming. You know, and the end result of all those things leads to celebration. He said, then was our mouth filled with what? Laughter. And with what? With singing. If you concatenate all of them together, that is celebration. I don't know what your story has been since the beginning of this year. You are going to end this year with celebration. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, as the saying going, that no condition is permanent. So whatever situation you are going through today will surely become a thing of the past. Whatever drought that you are going through today will become what? A thing of the past. You know, it will not last forever. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 23 verse 4, it says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, what happened? I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. In as much the captivity turner, the almighty God is with you, you are going to end up in celebration. I say you are going to end up in celebration. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. God will make a way of escape for you. And you shall experience a divine turning around. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 10 says, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is what? Faithful. Who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with temptation which also make a way of escape for you. A way of escape from temptation leads to celebration. That's why I know that whatever things that might have barrage you, Whatever situations that you have, might have overwhelmed you is going to lead you to celebration. The sickness in which you are going to is not to dead, but to celebrate God. The financial predicament in which you are is for you to have financial prosperity. Someone here is going to be a distributor of blessings to nations. 
Someone here is going to lend to a nation. If you believe that, say it louder, amen. amen. A thunderous amen. amen. Before I close, I want to look at a case study, you know, because as, as, as a mathematician, you know, uh, as, as a researcher, you know, uh, even though I'm a data architect, but yet I want to look at a case studies. I want to concatenate one from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament. A case of that Shunammite woman and a case of the woman with the issue of blood. You know, in that, of that woman, the child that the prophet gave to her, the good to her that was promised, that child died. But in the end, it leads to celebration. Brethren, you are the architect of your life. The way you define your life in the morning will transpire to what is going to happen in the evening. The course of the day is always, you know, a sum total of what you decree in your life when you leave your house in the morning. I remember one day, you know, I was busy in the office, you know, I came very late and I have a meeting 9 a.m. in the morning and then I have not prepared. So around 5 a.m., I jump off of the bed to go and, you know, to, just to go and bath. My wife just draw me back. Have you prayed? No, oh, I said, oh, I said, I'm very busy. Okay, no, I just have to swallow my, and I said, Lord, I'm going this morning. Because whatever you decree that money, whatever you say to yourself that money, we give you a barometer of what that week is going to be. So therefore, you can see this woman, the life of this woman is a case study for us to see how God can turn the adversity to testimony. How God has turned the adversity even to celebration. We look at the case of the woman with the issue of blood. How many years? There's a lesson there. We'll just speak about one or two or three or four points there for us to go with. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will expound the word in your heart. The Holy Spirit, you know, the one that gives meaning to the word. The one that gives exact word that we mix with your situation. That God will give you that meaning in the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at the woman with the issue of blood, for how many years has been with that adversity? If I want to define because of lack of time, adversity might be an affliction. Adversity might be a problem. Adversity might even be a near death. Adversity might be a death. That woman's boy dead, but it was a physical death. It's not a spiritual death. Is anyone here that your body has been confined as dead? Brethren, I want to let you know, before you come out of this message, life will jump out of you. Amen. Celebration will come out of you. Amen. There is a, you know, I will give a personal testimony. No, I will not give my personal testimony because it's recorded. I will not give my personal, but I will give a testimony. And because if I give you my testimony, you will, you will say God is partial in this land of Australia. But I won't share it now because everybody will hear now. No, I won't share it. But I will share what I know some people in the house who knows me very well. So, so I'm very careful of what I say. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But however, but however, that which we arise faith, that will rise up your faith in your life, I will say it. That's what you want to hear, not my testimony, but it's the testimony of what God is doing in our ministry. And when you hear that, you know that what God can do in, an, in the Antarctic, if you are hooked to God, God can do it for you here. If God has been with you wherever you come from, that same God is the same God here. It's no respecter of title. It's no respecter of whether you are a deacon or you're a pastor. If I pastor in my presence, I will send you away. Because I want to see God in you. Not the title that you can. I'm a pastor by the grace of God. But that's not the title that we, we will be here. When we get to the kingdom of God, it's not whether you are AG or whether you are general versus of redeemed Christian of God. It's irrelevant. It's immaterial. What is material? The people that you have fed their life. What is material? The people that through your ministry, they were being blessed. Not the people that have been suppressed. I want to tell you today, God is more to make your life an amazement. God is making your life an amazement. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. If I finish the message, you don't like me, you don't like me. That's your cup of tea. But what I want to tell you, I will tell you the truth, which you have been saying for the past 20 years I've been in this land. And I want to tell you, what you don't have, you cannot give. But when God does something in your life, you cannot light a candle and put it under the bush. Where do you put a candle? Oh, you are a candle. 
Tell your people, no longer will I be under the chair. God's celebration is upon me. When you have been celebrated, you don't put somebody under the candle, under the chair. The man that is celebrated is on top. You are always on top. You'll be on top in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. So, so shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. If you look at the woman with the issue of blood in the book of Luke chapter 8, 43 to 48. Luke chapter 8 from verse 3 to 48. He will ask that issue of blood for how many years? That's an adversity in his life. I don't know how long you have been carrying that burden all along. I don't know how many years I've been carrying it along. And people have looked at you and say, it is finished. They saw this woman with the issue of blood. They said it is finished with her. She was financially drained. She spent all she had. You know, she, asked, she was nothing better. She went to the best physician. But it, rather than getting better, it grew worse for him, for her. In the book of Mark chapter 5, verse 26. She was even an outcast. You know what it means? I don't know. And it's a situation in the life of a man that makes you be an outcast, even among your brethren, even among your peer. When you are supposed to do something in the house, when you are supposed to put money, contribute money among your family, and you're unable to do it, it's an, that man is an outcast. If you are in that position, I reject it for you. Your story is changing for nothing. Your story is changed for new thing. In the mighty name of Jesus. But what happened? You know, every year he was carrying that burden. The captivity turner, he met with Jesus Christ one day. Today, my dear, a day of your meeting with divinity. When a man meets with God, there is always a change in the life of that man. I met with God. God changed my life. I met with God. He gave me a good wife. I met with God. He gave me a good job. I met with God. He gave me a good people that I have here. I'm very blessed with all these wonderful people that are here today. Part of the blessing is for me to be here today. I'm so excited to see you. And I pray that God will take you to the, to the, to, to the highest. God will take you from the minimum to the highest. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. For 12 years, she had psychological problem, emotional problem, uh, whatever, whatever G -G 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 problem. She has all those problems. But one day, the captivity turned, her, turned the situation around for her. And she became a woman of outcast, became a woman of celebration. A woman that thought outcast became a testimony. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. Brethren, that will be your lot in the name of Jesus. It is not too late for you to sing hallelujah to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not too late for you to share your testimony. It doesn't matter. It doesn't take God a simply of a second to change the life of a man for good. God will change your life for good in Jesus' name. So this woman was persistent. This woman was doggedness. This woman believed God, even though those people who are close to Jesus Christ, they even want to discourage her. Our Father in the Lord will be going. People will be calling people not to, not to, not to move closer to them. Is, is that you for, is it for, for the pastor or for the people in the world? It's for the people in the world. Why should you come in? People, when he came, I remember when he came the other time in 2012, and people were looking for a way to see uh, Daddy Gio. Thank God we, we, we have the opportunity that time. People, some people came and they were offering me money. I said, to hell with your money. You are giving money to see Daddy Gio? No. They said that, is, no, no. And I said, no, no, no. Every one of them that came, I made an inroad for them to be able to see that he himself doesn't even know what is happening. But over zealous people, they will be going around, they will not allow people. When Jesus Christ was passing, what bodyguard does he have? What bodyguard does Jesus Christ have? So when our father is passing, we don't want people to see him. That's, that's a colossus, colossal error. You will not commit error. The same thing happened to Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was passing by, this woman wanted to touch Jesus Christ. They said, no. She mingled her way to Jesus Christ. You have mingled your way to come to church today. Brethren, before the end of this month, you are going to have a celebration. Yeah. Whatever may be your weeping. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night. What comes to a joy? This is your season of joy. Season of rejoicing. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. This woman defy every, every overzealous uh, Paul, um, overzealous uh, Peter. 
Ovasilos, John, Ovasilos, Andrew, all of them, name whatever. If meander, meander our way through and he touched, why all those of us, Lord, they are not receiving their miracle, this one was celebrating. He said, he said, he said, you must have that message. Don't be overzealous and forget your own problem and be chasing after shadow. It is very important. Face what you have come to see in the church of God. Don't look at somebody who stepped on your stove. Look at Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. When you look at Jesus Christ, what happened? You will have a testimony. It doesn't matter how long you are being with Jesus Christ. People want to see testimony. We are living in a system, in a life where fact is very important. If you are saying you are Jesus Christ, there is no fact for me to see why I should be following. I can't follow you. There must be a fact. I don't call people to come and follow me. If you don't see anything in my life, don't follow me. You must see something in my life. That is what you can use to follow. You are following me for, for what? I will not follow you. What do you have? Are you Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ says, follow me as I follow Christ. Have you? Paul says, follow me as I do what? Follow Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this woman, she had a celebration. Don't allow anything to dissuade you. Don't allow what uh, 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 Pastor Alex has said to allow you not to come to church again. What he has said or what he has not said. Don't allow because you don't know. Don't forget what happened in the first Samuel. You know, the story of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Anna and uh, Eli. You know, Anna went to Shiloh every year. She was praying there. You no, know, praying to God. What happened? Pastor Fisher just came and said, why you have already drunk? If I talk to somebody like that in the church, they won't come to church again, no. They won't, but not knowing that there is a test for every man. You will not fail your own test in the name of Jesus. But this woman, meander, 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 and he goes at celebration. Brethren, someone is here today. Don't allow whatever things that is going around you to define you. What defines you is what comes out of you, not what comes after you, not what comes around you. No man can define your life. You are the one that can define your life. And God has given you a blueprint of life. This is the word of God. It's greater than the greatest. It's greater than the prophet that ever lived. This is the word of God. The Bible says, no, not the Bible says, Abraham Lincoln said, and I quote, he said that I'm more sure of authenticity in the scripture than in any profane history. That I'm more sure of authenticity in the scripture than in any profane history. And he said, in his word, when I was reading his, his, his book, Path to Greatness in America, he said, there is no glory or joy in never failing. There is no glory or joy in, in never failing. But in each time you rise, when you fall, and I had my time, I had my own to eat. There is no, it's not a fall, but a sleep, because I will rise again. Tell your neighbor, I will rise again. I will rise again. Will rise again. When you rise again, testimony galore. Someone is here that your celebration will make international news. The SBS, the SBC, they will come. They will say, we want to record your news. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. This woman in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 17 to 20. Before I round up, 2 Kings 17 to 20. You know this woman, it was, you know, it, 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 you know <laughs> the Bible says in the book of 2 Kings, believe the prophet, in the, if you believe the prophet in the name of prophet, you will receive the word, the reward of a prophet, not fake prophet, too. not Ireland prophet, too. No prophet that say they want, they are carry themselves, they are prophet. If you are carrying yourself, you are not a prophet. God will just put you aside. If you are carrying yourself and God is not speaking, you say God has spoken, it's up to you. We'll see the result. You know, but this woman, and the story, this Elijah spoke into the, in the life of this Shunammite woman, and she received the conception of a baby, and she gave birth to a baby boy. Alas, tragedy struck. The woman that gave the, 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 so the, the, the guy died. And when this guy died, what did he do? Brethren, I just want to give us about two or three things. Please, can you give me more four or five minutes to that? Your, your clock is just going away while you're there. There is something that I need to say which is very important. Okay. Pastor, could you give me more time? Yes. Please give me more time. I sp you, you, you brought me here. You pay my ticket here. Is it for joke? Yes, I have, to, I have to make sure that I deliver to the money that you are paid. Is it true? Yes, in this place, everything must be accounted for. 
So if you brought me here, you, I slept in an hotel. So you think I just sent that I will go? I know that's you are not utilizing the Holy Spirit. You have not utilized the anointing. Hallelujah. Having said that, the spirit of a prophet is subject to a word. I will make a praise the Lord. But this is very important because I don't know the last the time I will be here. Not by then. I, will, I don't think I will be here today. But by the grace of God, I have to uh, schedule, schedule so many things to be here. Praise the Lord. If you look at Second Kings chapter four, seventeen to twenty. Second Kings chapter four, seventeen to twenty. I will quickly round up there. You know, this woman. We just want to. I it said it's a case study. We look at the case of the woman with the issue of blood. You know how she was persistent. How she was doggedness. How she did not allow a situation to define her, and a situation become after twelve years became a celebration. It became a testimony all around. And I want to tell you that your case is not finished yet. God is going to use that case to make it as a, uh, uh, an evangelical tool that will win men and women to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you look at that Second Kings chapter 4, say, but the woman conceived and bore a son when the appointed time had come of Elijah had stood her. And the child grew. Now it happened one day that he went out of his father's to the reaper and he said to the father, my head, my head. Carry him. What happened? When he had taken him, he brought him to his mother. He sat on his knees. And then what happened? The woman died. Sorry, the boy died. What happens? What happens when that uh, boy died? What does the woman did? What did he do? The first thing that he did in verse 21. What did he do? As soon he take what happened to him in verse 21? Jesus is verse 21. What happened in verse 21? And she wept and laid him on the bed of the man of God. He went into the house of the man of God. He laid him. Wherever you take your problem to, we determine the outcome. This man, this woman knows that it was the moment. But you have this man, this woman, you know, this woman took this boy to the, you know, to the room and he laid it on the bed. Who bought that bed? Who bought the bed? Who bought the bed? Yes. So if you are so in a particular place, you can make a demand in that place. But if you are not so in that place, you cannot make a demand. You, you cannot tell me who am I in this church. I'm a stakeholder. You cannot tell me who am I in the redeemed Christian of God, Australia. I'm a stakeholder. By investment, by timing, by everything. So if you like, you can, if you like, you can push this one aside. I will make a demand, everyone will answer. Because I have sold. If you have sold in this church, you are a stakeholder in this church, and you can make a demand to know. Oh, he see my work. This woman, she bought that bed. So that was the reason why she took the, the boy to the bed. Because she actually bought the bed herself. So I say, when you, where you take your issue to, we determine the outcome. This woman took the, uh, the child to the bedroom of the man of God, you know. And then I pray that you will not talk to someone that, that will take your case to the Abalis. Look at the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30. 1 Samuel chapter 30 from 1 to 6. The story of uh, David. After they have been taken away, their family, their children have been taken away in the Ziklag. You know what happened? When they took all their children, all their wives and everything, what did she do? The Bible say, he, he, no, he inquired, in, 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 sorry, what did he say? Uh, he encouraged himself in the Lord. And in verse 7, he said, bring me what? The Heford. Ah, they took away their children, they took away their wives, and everybody was weeping. Ah, and what happened? No, the Bible says he encouraged himself in the Lord. And verse 30, uh, from uh, 30 verse 6, he said, Bring me what? The E for. The E for means I want to consult with God. Who do you consult with when you have problems? Who are your advisor? You know, it tells you whether you are going to have celebrations or not. The same to Anna. You know, she communed with God. In the book of 1 Samuel, you can see, you know, his life had been messed up. You know, but what happened? When he came to God, God gave him, gave her the laughter. You know, many people's lives have been messed up today because of the people that they are associated with. In the place of war, you call everybody come to this side. They say there is no good things here. They are discriminating. They are discriminating. The place where you are coming from, do they discriminate there? 
They discriminate. They, say, they don't know. They don't understand me. You, you yourself go and learn how to speak very well. If God gives you something original, your language is irrelevant. If God gives you, they are doctors. They want to treat somebody and say, I'm a wife. Don't touch me. Okay, what happened? He will die. He will, <laughs> yes, he will die. He say, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Pray for God to give you original knowledge. Give, pray to God to give you, to make you a solution provider. When you are a solution provider, it's, 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 not, it's not congruent to your color. It's not a function of where you come from. It's a function of who God has made you to be. And when God gives you a solution, you are a solution provider, people will be looking for you. All around the nation, they will be looking for you. I said they will be looking for you. They said, where is this seer? Where is that prophet? Where is that prophet to make a difference? You are going to make a difference in, your, in this life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said you are going to make a difference in this life. In the mighty name of Jesus. She took the child into the bedroom of the man of God and put, the, uh, put him on the bed. You know, you are, I said you have a right to make a demand where you have sown. That is what that woman has done. That is what she has done. You know, I remember some times ago, you know, I mean, the, the first, uh, I was, uh, we were in a program, and then, I'm a, I'm a pastor every day, my one, where I was, they said, we, we cannot pass through, where GO is it, whatever. Then one of my pastors just came, I said, pastor, they, are you not a pastor in this mission? I said, yes. He said, what's your problem? He said, take charge. Oh, he said, take charge. Do you know what, I was, that was about, um, maybe about 15 years ago. He said, take charge. Do you know what happened? Just do like this. Take charge. I just bounce like this. No way for anybody here. I'm here. And I took charge. Brethren, tell your neighbor, take charge. Take charge, take charge of your life. Take charge. take charge of your destiny. Don't let anybody mess up your destiny. Hallelujah to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lord Jesus Christ. And the third thing that she did is that she shut the door. For your adversity to turn to celebration, brethren, you must shut the doors against unbelief. You know, anybody can offer their own opinion. It's not every opinion that you listen to. There are so many counselors nowadays. You know, people will say, I have one brother there, I have one, uh, one pastor that is in, the, one, in one uh, village. You know, they will be consulting. They have pastors, they are praying today, but they will be praying with other people as well. No. You know, to be very careful because sometimes you may not be able to identify where the cause of the problem is because you have exposed yourself to so many challenges. And as a result, it's become very difficult. You know, it, we have what we call a multiple point of entry and a single point of entry in, 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 uh, in computing. When you have a single point of entry, if anybody is going through that login, I know who I can attack if there's any attack on my system. But if you have a what? Multiple entry. Then you are up for anything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the, another thing that she did in verse 22, there's what you call the power of agreement to bring your adversity to celebration. Power of agreement is very important. You know, verse 22, when that woman saw what happened, she went straight to her husband and told her, told him what has happened. You know, and you can read it very well. You know, she, you know, because of time, she went to, 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 to him and then uh, they, 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 they were in agreement. Agreement is very important. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God said, let us what? He's very, in the church, if I want to do anything, you know, agreement is important. Even those who don't agree with me, I want to make sure that I carry them along. It is very important. Not everybody will agree with me now. Because if you are in that place, you run it differently. Isn't it? You will run it differently now. So you should allow me not to make some mistake. So, but the point is, you must have a power of agreement. If the wife or husband is saying, the wife that you have started for the past 30 years ago, and you say she's not, she doesn't know how to do, how to take care of herself again, and you want to go and look at other wife, then you are nearly extinction. Praise the Lord. The same applies, the same to, 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 to woman too. If the man that has helped you and you think that it's no longer good for you again, power of agreement is very important. You know, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 it said, it said there is a place of agreement in the, in the house. Very, very, very important. Very, very, very important. Then after that, what does she do? Verse 6. You know, it said, 
in, in, if you look at, uh, he said, I shall go and reference. No matter what happened, don't change your confession. That woman, when they ask her, what happened to your wife? What happened to your son? He said, it is well. <laughs> it is well. Don't change your confession. Are you believing God for the fruit of the womb? And they ask you, it is well. It is well. It shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be no matter what happened, don't change what? Your confession. You know? In, and, and verse 24. Focus is also very important. Focus is very important. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The eighth and the final one is that Gehazi has no respect for your pain. You know? <laughs> that one is very important. You know, Gehazi represents, it typifies people around you. They don't have respect for what you are going through. It is you that will say, No, this is not my cross. This is not my cross. I will celebrate. I will celebrate. I will celebrate. I will celebrate. And to round it up, you know, about uh, last year, God. Asked us to pray in Jan sorry in July in the month of July, we pray in the month of July for seven seven days I think seven days, and I told the people in the church that okay this seven days is going to be different. We are going to be meeting twelve a.m. to three a.m. to pray. We have never done it before. I said twelve a.m. to three a.m. We'll be praying. The people around me they rejected. I don't my people I don't care. I said but I need to sell it to them. They said it to them. I said, we pray. I said, what is happening is that I don't force anyone. I don't force you, but let us come if you can make it. And by the time we come, 3 a.m., we come 12 to 3 a.m., 12 to 3 a.m., 12 to 3 a.m. And everybody will say, ah. But one thing that is very important, by the last day, we, God asked us to pray. And for everyone that is believing God for one thing or the other. And there's one person who is not a member of our church who came. Believing God for the fruit of the womb for nine years. Nine years. That month, she conceived. Not only that, April this year, I went, they called me to come and do the name of the baby. A baby boy. Not that alone, brethren. I want to let you know that God is always in the habit of turning situation around to celebration. The tragedy or the problem of nine years... You know, they have one child, then exactly nine years, they conceive and give you another baby. Another thing I want to say about how God turned, if you believe the prophet, the name of the prophet, you will receive the reward of a prophet. That's one somebody who, who, who joined us recently, last year. And everybody that came, they always go through the workers in training. Regardless of who you are, you go through the workers because you want to know how things operate here. You know, and I, from that, I always want to know if people are humble. You know, I know. But you say, no, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. So this brother and the wife, they, they join, and then they have a very pedigree from the ministry where they are coming from, they join. Before they finish, I've already put them in a particular place where they're going to worship. So one day, and then uh, we are doing the Bible study, in, and I, they just, I was just passing by, and said, as you come to their house, and I, came, I went to their house. When I got to their house, they did a plantain for me. I love plantain. You know, after I had the plantain, I now look, at, I look up, I see the picture of their wedding. Ah, I said, what happened? So I said, when did you get to wedding? They said, six years ago. Ah, and I'm eating. Six years ago. Mm, that thing really struck me. These people are working for the Lord. They, six years ago, I didn't say anything. I didn't ask them any question at all. But that was a pain. But today, by the grace of God, last Thursday, I did a naming ceremony, a bouncing baby boy. After seven years. I don't know what your situation might be. I want to rise up on your feet. Begin to talk to the captivity turner. Waymaker. Miracle worker. Light in the darkness. That is who you are. I want to lift up your hands. The captivity turner can turn the situation around for you for good. I don't know what you are believing God for. 
Lift up your hands. He said, I will overturn. I will overturn. What is that thing you want God to overturn in your life? Begin to pray. If that message is for you, as I've said, I want you to pray to God. What is that thing that you want God to turn in your life? The captivity turner. This is a season of laughter. Seasons of celebration. Your money is going to be turning to dancing in the mighty name of Jesus. They might be saying that your career is over. I don't know if you have any infirmities in your body. I want to touch where your where that infirmities. Where that one, I want if you have any infirmities, I want to touch. He said, I'm as you are touching it, I want to lift up one hand to God to connect with God. Any infirmities in your body. Touch that place, lift one end up and connect to the King of Kings in Christ alone. Is there any area of your life where there is Oronite, Sambat, and Tobiat? They have been, they have, they have been, they, they have been mocking you. Say, where is your God? Are you bereaved? Are you lost? Are you lost someone? New thing will spring forth. See beyond it. No condition is permanent. Whatever situation that you are going through will surely come to pass. God will make a way of escape for you. You shall experience a divine and total turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. Note that life is in turn. It is your turn to laugh. Say it is my turn to receive a divine turning around. It is my time to receive a defined turning around. In Jesus' name we pray. I just want us to stretch our hands and pray for the man of God. Let's commit him to the hands of God that the Lord that has used him will refill him. He will fill him with more anointing, more grace, more unction to serve God. And that God will fulfill his purpose in his life in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will bless him mightily. He'll bless his wife, bless his children. And good news will always receive from him and about him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Place it with your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father and our God, we appreciate you. We thank you for your word that you have spoken to us. And we thank you, God Father. Oh God Father, because you are God that turns situation around. You turn captivity even to freedom. Oh God, you bring chains and shackles of captivity and you set us free. And you declare your word that if the Son shall set you free, and you'll be free indeed. Lord, we receive our freedom this morning in Jesus' name. Let every captivity, O God Father, be broken in Jesus' name. Every chain and shackles that the enemy has used to bind us down, Lord, let them be broken in Jesus' name. And Lord, let there be open door of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. And all that your children have asked for, release unto them, O God, that their joy will be full. And your name be glorified, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Quickly, we want to invite those who have come for Thanksgiving today to come forward. And as we are doing that, they will pass the offering bag around as well. So as the choir is singing, and the people are coming forward. Please hold your offering. 
It's because of our time that we are having these changes so that we don't stay too long anymore. So, all our brethren that are coming for Thanksgiving, let us sing and dance with them. They have finished their program, Hallelujah. and God has helped them to be very successful. And they want to give glory to God in celebration of a, I mean, a successful completion of uh, these programs they have come to do in this country. So let us rejoice with them. Let us stand up as we celebrate with them. God bless. Mm -hmm. Who can compare with such all over for sending to the bereft? He must tremble at the mention of your name, but this crumbles at the sound of your voice. Our battles are won by the power of your mighty hands. We are strong for this ever very big
But the Bible says, I rejoice with those that rejoice. And this, our brethren, has been with us for one year, two years, more, you know. And they have been with us. And they have uh, completed their program successfully. That's why it's worth giving the time to celebrate with them. And God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to invite our pastor to please help us pray for them. So that we pray for them. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you. We bless you for this wonderful co-laborers with us in the vineyard. Father, we thank you for what you have deposited into our hands. May your name be glorified forever in the name of Jesus. In this land of Australia, Father, please continue to walk with them. Let your presence be with them in the name of Jesus. Let them be an example of God in righteousness. Let them take this church to the next level. Together, all of us, our work will not be found wanting in the kingdom. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just bring Grace forward. Grace is marking a bad day, and we just pray for her quickly. Jesus name we thank you Lord for your daughter we thank you for the testimony of her life each time I look at her I give glory to your name because I know what you have done in the life of this little girl and he's standing here giving glory unto you the parents are thanking you because you have fulfilled your word in her life let your name be glorified in Jesus name Lord, I pray you will take her onto higher ground in the mighty name of Jesus. She will grow stronger in you, and she will fulfill your purpose in Jesus' name. And you continually make her a testimony to the glory of your name of God in the mighty name of Jesus. You will bless her, you will bless the sister, and all the children in the church, you will bless them mightily, and their joy will be full in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's going to be food after the service. Please don't just rush and leave it. We have to eat it. And the children will cut cake with grace. God bless you. Mami Araba. scriptures, the testimonies that we've had today, it only shows this God is a God that is never late. And once he speaks, he will do it. Because his word will never return to him void. That is what he says. He says whenever he speaks, that he will do it. It will accomplish that which it was sent for. And I believe all that God has spoken to us this morning will come to fruition in the name of Jesus. Whether you believe it or not, God Almighty will help our home believe. By this time tomorrow, that was what they said, within 24 hours, God Almighty turned the captivity of Samaria. That is what he can do. He is a miracle worker, promise keeper, 
the God that can never fail, oh, yes. the light in the tunnel. Oh, yes. That is who he is. He is the light and in his life. And all that has been spoken to us today will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the benefit of those of us that were not here this morning, when the open heavens was read, there was a word from the book of Deuteronomy 7, verse 12 to 14, which I'm going to read. Just go in that might. Go in that strength and see what the Lord will do. Amen. Just key yourself to it and I will quickly read. And it says, then it shall come to pass because you listen to just these judgments and keep and do them. Then that the Lord your God will keep with you the covenant and the mercy which is one to your father. Because you came to this assembly today, because you are here today, because you came to serve him, because you came to worship him, hear what the Lord says. And he says in verse 13, and he will love you and bless you and multiply you. Amen. He will also bless the fruit of your womb Amen. and the fruit of your land, Amen. your grain, your new wine, your new beginning, your new town, Amen. and your oil, the increase of your cattle Amen. and the offspring of your flock in the land which he has sworn to your father, in the land where he has placed you, in the land where he has brought you. He said, wherever the soul of our fish are trained, we will possess. And he said he will bless you there. He will bless you there. And verse 14 says, and ye shall be blessed above all people. Because you have loved righteousness and you've hated iniquity, the almighty God will anoint you above your fellow. In the name of Jesus. That is the word. There shall not be a male or female barren among you. Nor among your livestock. That means none shall be barren in the land. None shall be barren in the name of Jesus. And whatsoever that has been sent barren in your life, receive the word of God. It says none shall be barren. And so shall it be for us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And I pray and I decree in the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus, light will fall for us in pleasant places in this week. In the name of Jesus. And beyond, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, no matter how little shame is, no matter how little sorrow is, it will not come near our dwellings. It will not be our lot. It will not be our portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. That the all that you have done for us since yesterday up until this very moment, that it will cover all in the blood of Jesus. As many that have come from far and near, that we pray you will grant journey mercies in the name of Jesus. And they will remember today and say, wow, God did this when I was in Jesus' worship center. Because as the name implies, this is where the almighty God dwells. This is where Jesus worships. Because he is our all in all. And there will be many testimonies to the glory of his name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Before we sing our family song, how many people are worshiping with us for the very first time? Please signify by raising up your hands. And let us welcome them in the redeemed way. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. All over you, the glory of the Lord, and we love you with the name of the Lord. Amen. Brothers, please kindly wait and see Bratawo behind after the service. He will look after you, and Bratawo, our head usher, behind. And God Almighty bless you in Jesus' name. Shall we sing the family song? We are 
Ok. Ok. Aha. So, when you see me, are you ready? Aha. So, when you see me dance, I dance like a winner, my home. I dance like a winner. When you see me dance, dance like a winner. I dance like a winner, When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, my I dance like a winner, When you see me jump, I jump like a winner, my home. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, my home. Dance like a winner, my home. Check your body, winner, my home. Check your body, check your body, check your body, check your body, check your body. Take a body, take a body, just like a weed of a hoe. Just like a weed of a hoe. Oh, you don't like a weed of a hoe. Oh, you Two leg up, 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 two like a weed of a hoe, just like a weed of a hoe. Just like a weed of a hoe, just like a weed of a hoe. Weed of a hoe, weed of a hoe, weed of a hoe, weed of a hoe. Jesus, you know. Aha. Okay. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? I am a winner in the Lord. Are you a winner? 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 Okay. Besides me, my God. Say be not like this. We try be my God not like this. Say be not like this. We say as it's my God not like this. Say be oh yeah. We say as it's my God. Say be not. We say as it's my God. We say as it's my God. We say as it's my God. Besides me, my God. Not like this. Shabina. Besides, it's my God. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Everybody lift up this. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you ready? Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What can you Baba? Back in the miracle. Uh, okay. I know who I am. We are returning to the patient. Come for to show his excellence. Uh -huh. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who. I Come on, say, say. Uh, we are returning to the patient. Okay. Uh -huh. I know who God says I am, you say. What he says I am. Uh -huh. What he says I am. I don't know. Sing, I, I don't 
You say Take your body. Aha, uh -huh. take your body. Oh yeah, 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 take your body. If you love Jesus, take your body. Aha, uh -huh. take your body. Oh yeah, take your body. Oh yeah, take your body. Oh yeah, take your body. Okay. And we're born in love, but for a while we'll go away. Oh, my dear. Uh-huh. 